and part of this August gathering here. I would uh, start my uh, note with a small respect to Mr. Sai Baba and what I feel is uh, what uh, Mr. Sai Baba is doing here is a small ripple of what this country needs today. I am seeing a few uh, information on that board there and uh, thanks to the technology uh, at one point in time where we used to get medal tallies at during the Olympic Games on our mobile phones regularly and uh, every day evening the medal tally used to talk about the medal tally of the USA first and then the China and the competition is only between them who will get the most number of medals and that really used to pinch me a lot that uh, somebody else also spoke before me that a country with 120 crore population and uh, where do we stand so if we really go back and see yes we are talking about creating uh, infrastructure for schools creating infrastructure in the cities but if we really want to get there it is much more and more and more we have to create a huge kind of an attitudinal change into our country uh, get lots and lots of support from government primarily it is government when it comes forward they can do anything I am glad many many powerful representatives of government are here I am sure the start will happen there and of course then comes the CSR which will fuel this idea which this thought uh, like just a small thought when I, I started doing a small research of what makes a country like China going there and what actually happened there that suddenly a country which was nowhere is getting such high middle tally. When I found out, they really, uh, one is, we all know that the amount of uh, uh, challenge and the amount of uh, strictness they have about population control. So there, there is a law which does, prohibits you from a second child and they have huge kind of uh, penal, penalties and impositions if you go for more than one child. But the same government, they actually brought out a law, very strong law that you give birth to a second child and give it to us, gift it to the government. Don't ask about them. Uh, I, I have not really checked about the authenticity of this. This is my information from the net. But I think it must be quite a bit right. And it is happening there. And this child now is adopted by the government to put them into sports asylums. There are sports asylums where virtually a kid is trained season and made nothing but a master of that particular sport like uh, we have uh, many IPS officers here who can authenticate this how the terrorists are made I am told they are virtually put into a small room and made to see only blood baths and then they become merciless to make any amount of killings so the same model has been taken into a positive way that they are actually seasoned and I am told a Chinese like a, a, a Chinese swimmer if he is actually made to speak about anything else he doesn't he doesn't know anything about the world he is actually just a swimmer so that is how the government and when the government takes and adopts this particular child he doesn't they how do they determine that what is the interest of this child so they actually conduct a test something like biopsy about the body, the child's body and they find out that what kind of sport this candidate, this boy can be best about. After doing such an intensive research then they are put to those kind of asylums or those kind of training institutes. I might be using the word asylum but the kind of training institutes and then these kids are brought up to those standards. So one is here in a country where the government is so much concerned, they have so much focus and thought about it and in our country one is that attitude and that thought we can't even think about as of now. The biggest concern here starts with the finance. Now I have dedicated one of my child, my elder son is under 12 national pay today. The first at the age of 4 when I went to GVK Academy, I met the the coach there and he asked me only one thing sir you have come with the dream of sending your son to Wimbledon but it is not in your hands first things first you have to tune your mind season your mind are you ready then the kid will come next 
there are quite probable chances that probably at the age of 16, where you must have invested close to crores of rupees on him, and he'll come and say, Dad, I'm not up to it. And will you lose your heart and, and will there be a kind of a depression in your life? So I have to train you first before you put him into this. Now this is, fortunately I come from a business background and I can probably afford that kind of money and if my son decides to change his mind, it will be kind of an okay for me. Because at least he, he was good, he, he enjoyed his life, he's fit and healthy and I'll take all the positive attributes and move in life. But imagine the same thing I was talking to few, uh, probably uh, the service class people, maybe in my own company and I, he was telling that even sir, my son is uh, very good in tennis, he is representing the school and all that. Like, are you having the vision to put him into Wimbledon? Are you having that kind of a vision? Sir, we can't. For that kind of a vision, the kids are trained virtually for 8 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours every day. And what are we going to do if he, one fine day, like you said, your son is changing his mind, what do we do if he changes his mind? Then what, what about his career? How will he live his life, his livelihood? So those are the, the, the kind of fears which haunt these people. So that is the reason I am again and again emphasizing that the initiative has to first come from the government and not government at maybe at a state level or something, it has to come from the central level where some such strict ordinances, some strict in incentives and laws are made which induce people to get into it and then yes there will be a revolution. Now it is up to us the kind of strategies we make are going to be a revolution which is like a slow ongoing revolution or it has to be a quick and fast revolution wherein we see not next, the next to next next Olympic, at least we have a, at least a two digit gold medals into our country and that will be the warm beginning of the new sunrise what our country was known for and can come back into. Here I see uh, probably uh, the initiative taken by Mr. Sai Baba, I have been seeing him for last couple of years. Unfortunately for my own reasons I could not do how much I want to do for him thanks to because we are into business and the political environment, the state environment does affect us. So the state of Telangana and all that has given us a meeting. But I am definitely uh, promising you Mr. Sai Baba as and when the right time comes I am there for you and many people like me I will get along with you. But, but I have to be the role model for getting them on this. Uh, I see the kind of difficulties he sees. Like for example, for my son to get focus into tennis, I, me and my wife, we both ensure that he doesn't have any other kind of stress. He doesn't have any other kind of thinking, he doesn't have to think about his ball, bat, shoes, so that his focus is only tennis. And this is what comes from doing a lot of research on psychology, how it has to be brought to a certain level, a certain standard. Now this is for a kid. Now imagine Mr. Sai Baba running such a huge organization. He comes to me and he says that, Sir, my license cancel hone wala hai. Can you talk to the municipal commissioner and get my... Twice I have faced this difficulty. Now a man will really focus on getting and nurturing those students, those children to make the next uh, Olympic medal for the country or he'll run for those reg regularizing his licenses. It's an unfortunate thing and I think it has to brought to an end and a revolution in thought has to be brought into the country. Thank you very much sir. No offences to anybody and uh, have a warm evening. Thank you.